Hello everyone, Eddie's here and today's video will be covering the deeper network. We're going to talk about the network and we're going to talk about the reward system and why is it something that you should be, you know, uh, looking at or not. So let's jump onto this video. So most likely by now you have seen a lot of videos about the deeper network, what it does and everything, but I'll give you a quick brief so we can be on track and you would know what I'm talking about when it comes to the reward system and you know the tokens and all that good stuff. Now, uh, to begin with, uh, this network is not new. The the full new look is fairly new. So the economics and the white paper and everything is fairly new. I think it's a year old. But the products, the deeper products. They had a previous, two previous products back in 2018 or 19, I'm not sure. And they were selling on Amazon. So that was not a good start because they had these two miners. They were not miners. They were just DVPN. So they were, uh, they were not performing well. I don't remember why, but I remember I wanted to purchase one and the reviews were pretty bad. So um, it was around 2.1 or 2.5. So this is just to give you an overall idea of how they started. Now, that does not mean that this is a failure. On the contrary, starting and learning and fixing and you know improving and building on top and top until you you know perfect it, that's a proper way to fix and you know be more um, assured about this project. So you guys probably by now you know what a VPN. If you don't know what VPN, so basically you are a virtual network, right? So if you want to use Netflix uh, in the US because it has more varieties, more has more shows. So if you live in X country that doesn't even have Netflix or it's a limited Netflix, you can borrow somebody's IP that he's willing to share and then you use it to get access to this. Now, the DVPN or the deeper network to be more exact has a lot under its hood compared to the competitors. Now, there are competitors. So there's Thor, Tor, there's Mysterium, and there's they're good. There's I love Mysterium, but Deeper is evolving way faster uh, than the rest. As you may know by now that Helium network can be mined through this Deeper network, which is quite insane and just proves that these devices are not as, you know, just... Uh, regular devices they, they have some power and potentials so what are the dpr's use cases so one decentralized private network b2p bandwidth sharing so the dpr tokens can be earned and spent via sharing or consuming bandwidth on the network so if you have a device now if you're going to use it slowly for to protect your network your iot's your cameras then you're going to be spending if you're going to be sharing your IP address and bandwidth, that means you're going to earn tokens. So if you allow someone to access your, 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 your node, then the more bandwidth you allow him, the more you can earn. So that's fair and easy, right? So secondly, is the decentralized cybersecurity services. So each deeper node is a next generation firewall serving to prevent network attacks via network scanning, overflow attacks, injection attacks, and denial of service attacks. So that's another service. Third one, decentralized gateway service and dApp store. So Deeper is a platform provider for decentralized apps. So as you know, and you can see, it's built on the Polkadot uh, foundation, right? Ecosystem. So you can, Deeper is a platform that can do that. You can allow it to do that. The fourth um, uh, case is decentralized web services. So these decentralized DNS help you to make internet more democratic and prevent the open internet from being controlled or censored. And it is the DVPN. So what is DPR? DPR is the deep, deeper network's native token. It is gas for the deeper network ecosystem. The DPR's value is derived from the user's usage of decentralized services and applications on the network as well as incentivize you uh, to use the network and staking and mining rewards. This will create a self-sustaining decentralized economy. However, with further planned development of creating interoperability with other ecosystems, DPR 
will become useful across different ecosystems. And this gives it the flexibility that I talked before. It is kind of flexible. And that's why they were able to join the Helium Network. It's about now just Helium Network to um, approve their proposals. Now, the total supply of DPR is capped at 10 billion, with 60%, which makes 6 billion, that is reserved as mining rewards for users of the deeper network. So the total is 10 and the 60, uh, 6 billion tokens will be rewards for the users. So this will be important for us to do the calculations regarding the reward system. Now, I'm not going to go to the founders and check them out and the white paper because uh, plain and simple, the founders are great. They're well known. They are in this business. They know what the hell's going on. So uh, they're, they're good. They're good to go. The white paper is also very nice because it considers the the security, the, the problem with security. This is this is not an easy project and security is a big thing. So um, I've already read it. So it's covering the cyber crime, the internet trust, uh, trust crisis. So they have covered uh, themselves pretty well. Now, I have one concern. I don't think my concern is legit, but I have to address it. Now, if I'm going to allow people to use my bandwidth to execute anything they want, they can watch movies, they can do whatever you, they want, but they're using my IP address. So this is my question. Now, if I'm going to mine tokens by sharing or letting people use my IP address and therefore my bandwidth, right? Now, the question I had, and I found it on their main website, so it is addressed by them. How can I prevent other users from using my IP address to do illegal activities? Now, the first answer is users have the options, which is me, to disable the bandwidth sharing. Okay, so if I'm going to disable it, then I'm not going to mine. So this is confusing. So DSM can recognize most internet protocols. Users can choose to deny the dangerous ones. Remember, DCM is also a layer 7 firewall. So that's why I read the white paper. They're taking care of themselves and they have covered everything. My only concern is if someone... Now, they have covered in the white paper that are, they are considering the local laws, legal laws, which is great. But if we read number two, they're telling you, you should not be worried. But what I'm saying is, what if someone execute a drug deal using my IP address and this drug deal gets detected by the police, FBI, you name it. And now they will come to me because that's my IP address. If I show them this device to the police, I'm like, hey, that's um, it's just this device. Talk to these guys. I'm not being overprotected or I guess I am, but how can we solve this? Like, who's, who's, who's going to be liable now? Is it me? Is it the system? Is it can be stopped? Now, to be fair enough on this matter, I have not found a thing on the internet, on Reddit, of someone complaining or saying I was hacked or somebody used it or nothing. Zero. So, is the 7 firewall, layer firewall, is it working well? It looks like it because there's nobody talking about this. Like, it's not even something that you should be worried. Well, I don't know how right I am or wrong, but it looks like it's not a big concern at all. So, uh, that was my only thing about this uh, project in VPN. So, the deeper network is using the proof of credit. It's an innovative consensus mechanism that emulates the credit system in our daily life. It ensures true decentralization as ever participant on the network is given an equal chance to contribute and earn rewards. The POC is similar to proof of stake, but validators voting power depends on both stake tokens and delegated credit scores. It is whale resistant and prevents one class from dominating over another. POC enables deeper devices to mine deeper tokens via bandwidth sharing at extreme low commuting resources. The deeper chain miner tops out at a slim 15 watts, 
which is significantly lower than traditional ASIC and GPU miners. So it is, it, there are a lot of stuff in here. Then uh, there are these different ones, the Mini, the Nano, the Pico, the Lite. Now they have something for the reward system, which is called the Golden. Um, the Golden, I think, Miner or something. We'll see it right now. So this is not here. Uh, these are, they used to be sell, uh, sold on Indiegogo. There's, so let's talk about the reward system. If you have in your wallet a total number of starting 1, 20,000, 2, 46,800, 3, 76,800, and on and on. If you have those DPRs, DPRs are the token for the deeper network. If you have this amount, you're eligible to be on tier 1, which is here so this is tier one a credit score of 100 now the credit score is something that you get for uh from your dpr from you know your your uh, mining so what they're saying is you the chance for you to be part of this is 27 percent, while the rest are 100 percent sure now why they're saying this it's because the uniswap if you calculate everything in here in all the exchanges, there are only 75,941 tokens. Now, the, DC, the PR circulating supply is 4%, right? So if you come here now to the reward system, they're saying if you want to get uh, 20,000 in total in your wallet, you'll be eligible for a reward and Genesis bonus. And the Genesis bonus, it's not that they made up, it's part of their white paper. So this is quite legit. So uh, the 39%, you know, uh, they should give you DPR at 0 0.25, 6,950. Now this is tricky. Now they're showing you different numbers, but these numbers are dependent on the price of the token not the number of rewards the number of rewards are fixed now this are these are speculations predictions it can be 25 cents 0 0.50 0 0.75 1.0 2.0 5.0 .0. now if we remember that it is capped at 6 million and uh the, the, in exchanges there's only a 79,000. can this cause uh, increase price this token i know some of the subscribers hate this and they will say no this will not happen forget the five dollars so i know some of you will i'm just telling you it's up to you to do the calculation is it well the numbers are you know quite interesting but a lot of people will also you know kind of a quick note here regarding the you know the price of the deeper network whether it can reach one dollar or five dollars or fifty cents now if this gets attracted by new investors from the helium and mxc and the you know the big companies like emirates inside the helium to jump and bring in more cash into the crypto and invest into this reward system right here and they go for the you know credit score 800 this can bring you know uh, a big move to the to the to this reward system and the DPR in general. So how much impact it would have on this token? I, I don't know. It depends on how much uh, money they invest, how much fresh money. Are are there people willing to sell their crypto assets or their original assets and invest in this reward system? Because why I'm talking about MXC and Helium because now. We saw that Helium and Deeper Network are working together and they're getting exposed to the Helium community. And therefore, the type of people that are into Helium and MXC are not necessarily, they are into cryptos, but some of them are into cryptos plus the passive income. They don't like the high risk. They don't, you know, it depends. But I've seen most of them. They're into more like solid projects that can, you know, invest a little bit and get some passive income. So it kind of suits that niche. So will they invest? Will they all jump in? Um, that that could, you know, play a factor. But I still see it around, you know, here, the 50 to 75. But you never know. Uh, another factor, the, you know, the Bitcoin price. 
what if it shoots up to whatever you know uh, this all factors can help this because the more the volume market in, in the crypto increases the more um, market share a deeper network can have uh, depending on how many people are you know, of course will jump in it's up to you to decide this is something on your side on your preference of what kind of risk would you like to take as is, is, is it like someone is risky and loves to jump on these opportunities or give it a try or have extra funds that don't care then sure uh, you should give it a try or not that's totally up to you but these numbers are quite interesting because because of the capped and because of the circulation available i think things can be moving quite fast and if we see that this reward system was announced two days ago if we see the performance in the last seven days so before the announcement nothing was happening right so now this it's a big jump if you compare it to the rest of the network to the rest of the cryptos so it is still fairly cheap at 0.13 now if you want to uh say well what if it stays to 0.15 then yes you're going to be making 39 percent. so it really depends on how people will jump on this how will they react if a lot of people will just buy this in in here 468,000 that means you need few hundred people to purchase at 40,000 or a little bit more now about 50,000 it's at 1.13 so we're looking at 116 people that they want to uh, join this they need to purchase $50,000 worth of tokens now that's up to what the people do right I d I'm not telling you anything to what to do this is it's a very volatile you know uh, space everything in the crypto is volatile so uh, this is not a financial advice I'm just sharing with you educational uh, ideas that you can uh, look at and uh, you decide on your own um, on your own side by doing your own due diligence so this will go live on Monday and Tuesday. So whether you would like to join this and be part of this, the official whitelisting countdown is here, website. And note that these Genesis, the thousand Genesis gold miners, limited edition are, uh, are for you. So you're gonna have to be whitelisted first. So what do you need for the whitelisting? Is full name, phone number, email address shipping address ERC 20 wallet address and it cannot be on a centralized um, exchange wallet so you need to have it on you know um, a wallet like MetaMask or trust wallet and selection of the credit score you'd like to join so if you want to join the 20,000 46,000 you pick and each person can only stake in the Genesis node mining event once and number eight creation of a deeper chain wallet that's all you need so this is in case if you're interested and you can purchase them uh, these tokens from these exchanges so I know that gate IO is quite simple and easy with the Uniswap you can try it with your MetaMask so uh, there are some other videos in the discord and Twitter that people show how to do this so if you want to dig more which I highly uh, advise you to do so because this is not a small amount of money of investment but it is an opportunity that can make uh, you some money I don't know that I cannot guarantee any of that stuff because again crypto is very volatile now I'm gonna AMA that you can um, you know read and uh, I'll put a link for it so it can help you on your um, due diligence and do more research so AMA talking points helium application applied for connect antenna to DPR unit to mine antenna alone is $399 can possibly get it free for top stakers details not confirmed now there are thousand gold Genesis in phase one thousand silver Genesis in phase two 
everyone in phase one gets early staker bonus reward basically anyone who gets gold genesis miner white whitelisting date is july 27th selection made for staking and top th whatever mainnet launch is still planned for quarter three i think in september no hardware difference between mini and nano and genesis miners only the software is different and attached to your staking address so you can still mine with your bonus using mini or nano if genesis has not been received by mainnet launch if you unlock other tokens after nine months you will lose the credit score if you unlock tokens after nine months you lose the credit score from the locked tokens but you keep what you earned while connected to the network example you stake and reach tier six and over six months you gain two tiers from connection and are now tier eight when you unstake you lose six tiers but keep the tiers you earned while connected to the network so your score is 200 so it's like the fuel in mxc if you t the more you take but it's a different uh, formula of course but the same idea that whatever you take it's gonna make you lose your tier the genesis bonus apy will last for the initial nine months possibly longer but not sure yet organic credits uh is earned based off terabytes shared with a minimum of 10 mbs shared over the two days equals one credit score more info to come so if you guys want to read this i'm not going to read the whole thing i'm going to put a link to it and this way you can uh, you know figure it out see if it's something it is uh is it possible i think it is a good opportunity if you have if you have a chance to you know uh, purchase 20 or forty thousand. the reason is mainly because of the price of the token like it's 13 cents right now and it's just going up and there isn't many uh in the markets and the exchanges so we might see this going somewhere uh, it's up to you to decide i'm just showing you the opportunity i tried to show you everything about them that you feel comfortable and you know um i show you the everything that you should be worried about and everything that you should not you know everything that's tempting and looking good if you think this was a fair review please hit the subscribe button and give it a like and if you guys uh, have some extra questions you can also uh, ask me in the comment section and um, i wish you all the best of luck i think this can be uh, something it will not i don't want to give a number but the the five dollar is it's not something that um it can happen um but if you purchased five or six days ago before the announcement you would have gotten this token for six seven cents i think seven cents if i'm not wrong so yeah you can see that it used to be five cents just two three weeks ago four cents and three so now you tripled your money you know 300 x uh 300 percent so it's up to you uh this this is a tough one um it has a lot of potential again for them to start mining hnt uh it just tells me what kind of engineers and software engineers behind this project which it gives me that kind of trust feeling and now they're you know um they can you know just you know bring all the helium um people uh the community to jump on this opportunity so yes my the, the, this cooperation between the two i think it can reflect very positively so um and if you go to the socials the ratings there's nothing of it whatsoever that's scammy i told you there was just a small hiccup back in april 2019 which they started and there, were, there was nothing wrong with them it's just they were not as solid as the new ones that's all so um they're still working so um but not as efficient as the new ones anyways guys please do your due diligence this is not uh you know financial or legal advice this is just um for educational purposes and i wish you all the best and if you guys are jumping or not jumping can you please tell me why or why not i would love it to hear from you Thank you. See you on the next video.